Good afternoon. It is Jane with Scrubtastic Yarns, and I have a little bit of a yarn and fabric haul and some shout outs. And there's a lot of them. First of all, let's go with the fabric. Now, I believe it was Ella that was showing some real pretty Halloween fat quarters she got at her Walmart. Well, I can't find those fat quarters in mine. Or maybe it was Elizabeth of a crafty crocheter. Elizabeth. So apparently I need to go to State College to get some of those. But mine had the lovely little Halloween with the pumpkins and the kitties. The skulls. The bats. The black with the orange polka dots. And my favorite, little kitty cat faces. So I got a couple of those packages. And, um, that is it for the fabric. Now, I have a little video here. I'm going to try to do a voiceover. I tried to do it earlier. For some reason, it just didn't click. But hopefully when this is inserted, you'll get the voiceover. And you will notice that one of the very first skeins that I did pick up, uh, the label came off. And yes, I did pick that label up, took it and that skein, placed it on the cutting table where I know they have tape so that they could tape that together or do whatever they want with it. But other than that, here's that video. And Walmart has new yarn. This is Mainstays. This is Walmart's brand of yarn. It is sparkle yarn. This is Taupe Splash. There are 5 ounces and 253 yards, 0.52. And this is Rose Fume. There is a spot for silver and teal. The yarn runs 288 per skein. Worker told me that they did not get the silver and the teal into the Mill Hall store. And the last color is violet. And it is called Sweet Violet. There's Walmart's new yarn. Main that is all the yarn that my Walmart had in. And they didn't have the silver. They didn't have the teal. They had a spot for it. I got the teal, but I couldn't pass up this one either. Got that purple sparkly, the violet. You can see the sparkle back here. So yeah, I got the sparkle. And it's sweet violent. And let me tell you what how much is in these, because they're all the same. It's 251.53 yards. Five ounces. Sparkle acrylic yarn. Uh, medium weight. It's not too bad. I would imagine that once you uh, slap a little uh, softener on that fabric softener, it'll be nice and soft and you'll be ready to roll. Now, um, I've never tried ice yarn, and a couple of weeks ago, Yarn Nut Gia had um, some sampler packs, so I got a sampler pack, and um, my very favorite one in the sampler pack is this, and this is the Picasso, I picked up the Picasso, so there's that one, my next favorite. Is that one? And then this one. These are gorgeous. They are absolutely stunning. Now, I haven't worked up anything with them. I planned on working up some hats. And that way I could see if I really wanted to go a little further. This one with the pink and the grays and a little bit of bluish gray. Gorgeous. 
pink and purples. And this one, very vibrant. Now this one is at the bottom, but I really like it as well. This is stunning. And then the very last one in this pack has these lovely, beautiful colors all in it. And so it was a 10 pack. It was a fairly decent price. So, you know, I just wanted to see what they were like. Um, you know, when other people are showing them, you kind of have an idea what it's like. But, you know, they can't really tell you how soft it really is. Um, that kind of stuff. I know it's kind of got a fuzzy halo, but uh, I kind of like it. So I'm going to do a couple of hats with that. And can you see how stressed I am this week? My rosacea is really showing up. Lovely. Yeah, it's been that way. Um, the baby hats, I tried the knitting them with the knitting machine. And fairly easy. They come out fine. However, when I tried to do the stitching on them so that they would look like baseballs, not so much. They look kind of funky. So, uh, and that was doing the double layer. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to try a single layer and then just crochet around the bottom of the edge and see if that one will work. I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, I, act I actually only have five more than I need to make. And I can crochet those. I can do that this afternoon. He'll be done. But I um, want to try to knit. The knit's a little easier to do the stitching. <laughs> of course it is. It's a lot easier. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway. Are you ready for a couple of shout outs? I have quite a few. First one is Woolly Witchcraft. This is Brogan. She lives in Glasgow, Scotland, and she is a new knitter. And um, I'm kind of enjoying her channel. It's very interesting. She does a lot of things, teaches you a lot. Of course, shows her all her pretty makes. And, you know, I like knitting and crochet, although I do mostly crochet, and most of the shout-outs I do are crochet. However, <laughs> you know, every once in a while I get thrown in a knitting one. Then there is Bella Uncinetto. I think that's Uncinetto is Italian, which means beautiful crochet. And this is Christina, and she has some beautiful items. Um, she has done a couple of lives, and uh, I think you'll enjoy Christina's channel. Then there is Shaisa's Crochet. Now, this young lady lives in Dubai. Um, she does lives. Uh, a couple of them I've seen in English. A couple of them I've seen in... Um, Arabic. So, just gonna go with it. Also, Sajel's Crochet, and this is Sajamal Anto Puthan Purakal. Sajal is her son's name, so she uses that as her channel name. She does crochet how to's in English and Arabic. So, um, check her out as well. And I'm not positive Sh if Shaiza actually does Arabic or not. She does live in Dubai. So, <sighs> whatever. Then there is Hook and Loops Calm Country Crochet. This is EJ Hart. And she has crochet how-tos on her channel. And, um, you do get to see some of the countryside, so very nice, very calming. Then there is Juniper and Oaks, and this is Erin of the website Juniper and Oaks and the Etsy shop Juniper 
and Oaks. Of course, Erin has crochet how-tos, and um, she just started up a channel recently, so go over and give her some love. Then there is Yarn Fix by Jamie, and she does crochet as well. Um, I, I think I watched two. Not real sure, because this was all last week, and you know, last week was... So, then there is Lost Angel Designs by Valerie Gibson, and I believe she has two or three videos up. And um, I think you'll enjoy Valerie's channel. Then there is Shaira My Maid Crochet. I believe that's how you pronounce it. She has some beautiful items. You're going to love the channel. And um, she has done quite a few videos lately and I've enjoyed every one of them so far they're fairly short I don't care if they're short or long I like them so I watch them then there is Redneck Crafter this is Michelle Michelle has um, not just crochet but she also has some other items I believe and some of her videos I believe if I remember correctly were from a couple of years ago of area around I'm not positive. Then there is Curious Handmade. This is Helen, and she knits. I do enjoy her channel. Um, then there is Knitter Knotter. This is Arunima. She does Tunisian crochet and crochet. And she has, I found her originally uh, through one of the blog hops. And uh, she had a Tunisian crochet block. Um, also, Anna <clears throat> of Tales from the Craft Room. Anna had also featured, I believe, either early this week or last week, a video about a Tunisian crochet square that was round, but not round square. It's Tunisian in the round that's done in a square. Aranima also has a full sampler, I think so far 17, 18 weeks of different Tunisian blocks to teach you how to do the Tunisian crochet and uh, put those together to make a blanket. Very interested. I like Tunisian crochet but I just don't have enough time to do enough of it. Then there is Tammy Cook. Now, Tammy Cook, I believe, is just starting her channel. Uh, most of her videos were older videos. She also does a lot of cooking, what you're eating, that kind of thing. Um, but I enjoy watching it. I'm chunky. I like food, okay? Then there is Cuckoo Crazy Crochet. This is Ronnie. Um, I think you'll enjoy her channel fairly new if I remember correctly has some cute finished items then there is Michelle's mosaics and more now Michelle has a couple of videos they're very short that just show you a little bit about her makes um, maybe two minutes a minute and a half beautiful work I am hoping that Michelle shows us more of her mosaics because they are beautiful. And of course, that's one area of crochet I've not dabbled in yet. And um, I would like to. I purchased a pattern for both mosaic crochet as well as interlocking crochet. And both of those on my, are on my list to try. Because, you know, why not? I have craft ADD. Can't help it. Want to try something new? All right, folks, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will enjoy the new channels. And other than that, I will see you again soon. Everybody have a great day. And you know what? Be the person that changes someone day, someone's day with just a little smile. Be nice to someone. Bye. And Walmart has new yarn. This is Mainstays. This is Walmart's brand of yarn. It is sparkle yarn. This is Taupe Splash. 
there are 5 ounces and 253 yards, 0.52. And this is rose fume. There is a spot for silver and teal. The yarn runs 288 per skein. Worker told me that they did not get the silver and the teal into the Mill Hall store. And the last color is violet. And it is called Sweet Violet. There's Walmart's new yarn, Mainstay's Sparkle Yarn.